What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. This is Gold Pony Crypto. So got a lot of fun ones for you guys today. First thing I'm going to be going over is my bear market crow price prediction, which is always interesting because the backlash in the comments always seems to humor me. And I'll show you guys what I mean there and my logic behind what I'm about to tell you regarding that. Also, there is a new crypto.com partnership, which is always a good thing. Also, we got the Kronos first IDO coming very soon on Crodex. I'll be going over all of those details for you guys. I got a little Marie Cyborg development teaser coming around the corner and definitely excited about what's coming for them. And some information on a couple NFT airdrops then as well. And so before we get started, nothing in this video should be considered financial advice. If you are into crypto.com, Crow and Kronos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because that is what we do here on this channel after all. And feel free to follow me on social media if you wanted to stay up to date on everything related to cryptocurrency. But now having got all that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and get started with my bear market price prediction. And so not not too long ago, I actually made a video about three or four months ago when Crow was at 40 to 50 cent range. I made a video explaining how I thought Crow was going to go under 20 cents. I'm looking once it gets back under 20 cents right now, I think that is the perfect time that I'm going to be buying personally. And everyone was grilling me in the comments section saying they have so many partnerships, there's no way Crow is ever going to go under 20 cents again. And while I was appreciative of all of the optimism towards Crow, because I am a huge Crow fan, obviously, there is one thing I do know from looking at history is that it doesn't matter how successful the project is, it will always go down substantially in a bear market. Traditionally, from the all-time high, Bitcoin will lose approximately 85% of its value and altcoins will lose up to 95 or more percent of their value. Not that there's anything wrong with any of these projects, but just because that is just simply the way it works in a crypto cycle or more specifically the Bitcoin having cycle because the market caps for all of these coins, including Bitcoin, just isn't all that big yet, comparatively speaking, to the stock market or even gold. So the volatility is inevitably going to be there, especially in a bear market and so just for some fun price predictions here and this isn't necessarily what i believe is going to happen but rather what can happen based off of history and so if crow were to lose 95 percent of its value from its all-time high that would put it at approximately five or six cents which coincidentally is when i started buying crow if bitcoin were to lose approximately 85 percent of its value that would put it at approximately ten thousand two hundred fifty dollars somewhere in that ballpark so that would be a heck of a buy as well. If Ethereum were to lose 95% of its value, again, I'm not saying any of these coins are going to, just saying based off of history, it has happened. That would put Ethereum at approximately $250, $300, which would be absolutely insane. And again, none of this may happen, but I do want to remind you that traditionally, this is how bear markets work. It might just happen for a brief second before everything gets bought up again, but Traditionally, every single other cycle has shown us this is the way it works. So just wanted to put that out there. But anyways, now is the time to load up essentially is what I'm getting at because when the next bull market hits, we all are going to be so much better for it for sticking this out. Again, as history shows. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the crypto.com partnership. They have actually teamed up with Shopify, one of the largest, if not the largest retail aggregator. And a cool thing about the crypto.com partnership is through crypto.com pay, which enables 0.5% settlement fees. And so if you were to compare that to some of the other payment processors, let's say credit cards, it's actually up to 80% less settlement fees than some of the competition like credit cards, for example. So that is pretty optimistic for Shopify. I hope a lot of the retailers on that site take advantage of crypto.com pay because that is definitely a good thing for them. Next, I just wanted to touch a little bit on the Kronos first IDO because it is right around the corner on June 12th. It is going to be taking place on the Crodex app and that can be found through the crypto.com DeFi wallet is traditionally how I would get to it. To be whitelisted for this IDO, you just simply have to own land in the Kronos first. As far as the total supply of verse goes, that is going to be capped at 100 million and I'll get more into the tokenomics in just a second here. As far as staking goes, because you can stake your land for the verse token, the pool that is going to be allocated for staking is going to top out at 2 million verse. And that staking pool is going to be available approximately somewhere in the range of June to September 
September, so pretty wide range there, so just make sure you're following the Chronosverse on Twitter or Discord to stay up to date on that, of course. They're actually also going to have a LP farm, liquidity provider farm on Crodex. That is going to be a verse and crow pair. So you, of course, can earn some APR with that as well. And so as far as the tokenomics go for the verse token, I'm gonna look down on my phone here real quick to show you guys, but initial supply is going to be 16.4 million verse, and that is gonna be distributed through the public sale, the initial liquidity and NFT staking rewards. Then after two years, there's gonna be an additional short-term supply in the amount of 23.6 million, and then long-term supply ranging from three to nine years, going to add an additional 60 million verse then to the total supply. It's essentially how that is going to work. Essentially for the idea, one crow is going to equal 16 verse with a max buy of 5,000 crow per wallet, AKA 80,000 verse. So as far as the vesting period goes, 50% of the verse will be unlocked immediately and then 50% will be released on July 1st. So not too far away there. As far as where those funds are gonna be going, 75% of the collector crow will be transferred to the verse crow liquidity pool, opening verse tokens for public trade. The LP tokens will be unlocked on a verified token locking platform then. And by the way, if you're wondering how to go ahead and get to this IDO, again, I would go through the crypto.com DeFi wallet to find the Crodex app, and then just go to the middle uh, Chronos DAP section. And then at the very bottom, once you get that Crodex app pulled up, at the very bottom middle, it's going to say crowd, and that is going to be where you're gonna find the Chronos first IDO essentially, in case anybody was curious. And so next on my list is going to be the Marie Cyborg kind of teaser video I wanted to show you guys. And so if you're not familiar with Marie, Marie Cyborgs, uh, one of the things originally on their roadmap was to have a fashion show in the metaverse. So I wanted to read this from Discord real quick because this is pretty cool. I love seeing them actually capitalize on this because there's nothing else out there right now in the NFT space, especially not in Kronos, that is doing a fashion show in the metaverse. So I love that they're doing something different that nobody else is doing. So I get excited about different because those are the projects that I wanna personally be a part of. The ones that are thinking outside the box and want to do something that has never been done before. So let me read this to you real quick. Hi Cyborg, slowly but surely our project is coming to life, our models are being modeled in 3D. We received from the Digitage company, the first model, of course, the one of Marie. The catwalk animation has been well applied and our designers are working on the collection of cyber outfits to wear during this fashion show. The project is crazy and I love working on it and I love watching the progress because this is exciting to me as well because like I said, nothing has been done like this before so I'm excited to see where it goes. Next on my list here, I wanted to cover the uh, Angel City F. C football club NFT airdropped has already been done. I retweeted that on Twitter, of course. So if you're following me there, you already know, but I don't think I said it in a video yet. So wanted to mention it now, just in case you don't follow me on Twitter, but you follow the YouTube. So go ahead and check your crypto.com backslash NFT account. You should have that there. If you watched one of my previous videos where I told you guys about that free airdrop. So I wanted to mention that. And also the Cyber Cup airdrop has been officially done now as well. So if you own a loaded lion, you should also now have a Cyber Cub sitting in your wallet for however many any loaded lines that you own. And these actually turn out pretty darn good. I like the art behind it, and I've seen a couple of them sell for even $15,000 already. So crazy amounts of money with those Cyber Cubs, and they look pretty darn good as well. But anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen. If you wanted to see different cryptocurrency updates, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into crypto.com, Crow, and Kronos. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.